I'm going to spend the next 24 hours in a treehouse in the middle of the Costa Rican rainforest. Located in the Makenke National Wildlife Refuge, I'll be surrounded by nature and get to explore and see Costa Rican wildlife. And enjoy the peaceful tranquility being away from the hustle and bustle of city life. The next 24 hours will truly be a one-of-a-kind experience and a childhood dream come true. We have just arrived in Costa Rica after a seven hour flight from Los Angeles. And now we are currently headed to our first destination, our treehouse abode hosted by Makenke Eco Lodge. And this treehouse is actually located in a very protected area of Costa Rica in Makenke Wildlife Refuge. And it connects several natural parks such as Tortuguero National Park and Serra Silva Natural Reserve all the way in Nicaragua, making it the perfect place for animals to migrate between regions. Gotcha. And if you listen close enough, do you hear that? All that chirping? So I've heard they've identified over 592 species of birds here, which is why there are so many beautiful sounds coming from the tree. Honestly, this is so peaceful walking through the forest here. So we just have to head up these stairs here and we'll be in the tree house. And there are about 48 steps to get from the bottom of the tree house to the top. Time for the official tour that you guys have been waiting for. This is the view from up top. There's another tree house over there, if you can see the green roof. We have our lovely key here for Manakin. This is the tree house, Manakin. It is very hot here in the Costa Rican jungle, very humid as well. But what we do have here is we got two fans here on the left and the right. So I might turn that up just a notch. And we have one twin bed here. So you can have one person sleeping here or two, you do you. And then you have one massive king bed here as well. So in theory, you could fit up to four people in this tree house. And right here you have a nice fridge. You can store any food in there. And we come with a coffee maker. Some 100% Costa Rican coffee, a couple cups. You have your windows here with shades so that when you wake up in the morning, you can see the beautiful view of the rainforest in front of you. And this trunk, this beautiful treehouse trunk that holds this entire treehouse together. You have these more decorative lights going on here on each side. And you have a pretty nice wardrobe. You can put your clothes in, thing on the bottom, and your bathroom. So you got your toilet, as we all need, <laughs> your window, mirror, you can get ready here with the sink, <laughs> and you have the shower area as well. So it's a pretty simple tree house, but I think it's really all you need for a very simple, relaxing getaway, because that's all, kind of all you really need is just something simple. Um, especially if you just want something that will be a lot more peaceful than the hectic city life that you may live in, like myself. And we have some pretty cool activities planned for tomorrow, actually. We are gonna do a little bird watching at 6 a.m. Let's please hope that I wake up. I will, I promise. 
And then we're going to be taking a half day boat tour. We're going to go to the border of Nicaragua. They are supposed to have a night walking tour a little bit later. But after that, we're going to get dinner around 7 p.m. And they actually have a restaurant downstairs. They fed me lunch as soon as I came in. And it was very delicious and very fresh. We have our first meal here in Costa Rica. And this is the Casado Tipico. And this is the vegetarian and vegan friendly version. So we have a salad up here. We have some rice. We have plantain with black beans. We have some vegetables with zucchini. And we have picadillo, which has carrots and squash. Very good, very fresh. I think everything, a lot is prepared here on the Eco Lodge. And in addition to being very green, where they produce 80% of what you eat in the restaurant, something else I love about Makenke is their commitment to respecting nature. I actually had the opportunity to chat with one of the brothers that started the lodge, and he mentioned how they even have a foundation that gives education to children to teach them to love nature so they will live a life preserving our planet. All right, guys, well, it got dark pretty dang quickly here at the treehouse, but now it is around almost 6 p.m., 5.52, and I'm gonna head to one of their night walk tours that they have here, and then we're gonna get some dinner. They gave us these handy dandy walkie talkies here oh, there we go got my mask got my walkie talkie and it is pitch dark out here you guys okay we are now doing the night walking tour with jose and he's going to take us around and if we see wildlife and we can uh, see a little closer okay we have our power lights which is much better than my phone lights <laughs> it's, it's right in front of you <laughs> hi you froggy during our night walk, my guide Jose shared a lot of information about the flora and fauna in the area, aka the plant and animal life. Costa Rica is one of the most biodiverse countries on our planet with over 500,000 species, making it home to nearly 5% of the world's biodiversity. So we got super close to various animals and plants, including these very unique pink... Caliandra surina mensis. And the daytime is close. Oh. And after about an hour of exploring, it was time for dinner. So now I'm going to show you guys what a dinner here at the Treehouse Eco Lodge is like. I just ordered their stuffed eggplant and their basil pineapple drink and they just came out with their banana chips and they're so fresh and still super warm. These are really good. Our dinner is served. We have our basil pineapple drink and our stuffed eggplant here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this. All right, we are back in our room in our treehouse, and dinner was pretty good. I was pleasantly surprised by the flavor of that stuffed eggplant, as well as that ginger pineapple drink. It was very fresh. And tomorrow morning, we got a pretty busy day. 6 a.m., we're doing some bird watching, which means I should probably go to bed early, but I'm probably gonna get a little bit of work done and then head to sleep. Boop. So before we continue on with the video, I just want to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. If you are a traveler or going to a different country, then you might want to consider getting a VPN, AKA a virtual private network. NordVPN gives you safe access to content from around the world and protects your privacy and virtual location by shielding your IP address. They also secure your online traffic through encryption by blocking any ads or malicious websites. And as a traveler, NordVPN has been super vital for me, especially if I'm not in my home country and using any unprotected internet or public Wi-Fi. And since this trip to Costa Rica is three weeks long, having a VPN is essential and something I use all the time. So let me quickly show you how it works. If I'm in a different country, like in Costa Rica, then I can quickly access a different server like one in the US. And you can choose from over 5,200 NordVPN servers in over 60 countries and enjoy the fastest connection speed. So even when I'm traveling abroad, like in Costa Rica, then I can still access all of my content and work files easily and safely, knowing all of my personal information and files are secure. So check out my link in the description below and use code GDT and NordVPN for a huge discount on a two-year plan. And you can secure up to six of your devices. NordVPN is super highly regarded in the industry, so I definitely recommend that you check them out. And now back to the video. Good morning. Good morning, everyone from our treehouse. I slept like a baby. I could not wake up this morning. 
It's currently 6, 13 a.m. and the bird watching is supposed to start at 6 a.m. So I'm a little bit late, but hopefully I can find them if they've already started. That's probably the best sleep that I've gotten in a very, very long time. And this is probably the earliest that I've woken up in a very, very long time. Guys, we have our I think our binoculars no, here. They move to a little and bit there's to a the parakeet right. Maybe all the way up there. Angle. We started off the morning walking through the gardens and lagoons, spotting some birds hiding in the trees of the rainforest. They have over 592 species of birds here, and some of those are migratory species. Toucan up there. And all of these wide-nosed. They're called wide-nosed guapis, and they're from the raccoon family. They're all just coming out. All right, guys, so we are back here at the restaurant, and you can see the different small birds. What are those ones called? That one is a red leg honey creeper. The blue one? The blue oh. one. Oh, and he's just feeding them some bananas right now. These are 22 of the species of birds that we just saw today. All right, heading back to the treehouse now. Probably gonna start getting some of my stuff together. And then right at 9 a.m. we're gonna head to the boat tour. All right. Grabbing all of our stuff. All right, freshened up just a bit and now we're headed off to the river. Pretty excited for this one because we are gonna be going to the border of Nicaragua. And when we first did the crossover from the river, very, very quick, very short, probably about 20 seconds long. So this boat experience will be much longer. I've heard we're gonna see some crocodiles and a whole lot of other animals native to Costa Rica. Bye. Okay, so this is the boat that we're gonna be taking to cross the river and it should actually take us about three and a half hours for this entire experience. have just spotted some monkeys. They're chilling in the tree. There's about three of them. Actually, there's five monkeys in the tree. Look at those little guys. You can't even see. I need a, I need, I'm gonna need a get a long lens. I'm so lost, but look at those guys. They're so adorable. So the alpha male is the biggest monkey and it also makes the loudest sound. So that's how we know it's the alpha male. There's actually a lot of freshwater fish in this water as well. Okay, we are now officially in Nicaragua. You can see all the dense vegetation here in the back, all Nicaragua. And over there they have a military base and a boat is actually coming in. If you look over there, they have large boats, which is basically their form of public transportation in Nicaragua. Heading off, boat. We are now at a very little town here, just gonna grab probably a small thing to drink. And this is the Costa Rica side, obviously. If we were to pass the Nicaragua side, we would go over the boat onto 
the other side of the vegetation and we probably need our passports. So this is a small little town here that we're just taking a very quick stop in. What are all these fruits? Is this Lima? Lima? Lima. Oh, oh lemon, lemon. Yeah. Lima, and this is another lemon. Oh. This is a, a flavor of tangerine. Nice. And this is a star fruit. Star fruit. Cool. Now I have a very, very nice juice. It's a passion fruit with mango. Okay. I'll get a passion fruit with mango. Yeah. It's a nice little lodge. My house, your house, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Please. Too well just found a lodge here was stopped by um, one of the locals that owns a lodge and I'm excited to try some of their passion fruit for you. Oh, thank you thank you all right guys we just got our passion fruit mango juice and it looks like almost all drinks I've been getting here at Costa Rica has this fruit here which is actually very tasty it's kind of sour mmm wow I forgot how much I love mango what is the name of this fruit again because it keeps coming I keep seeing it uh, a star fruit. Oh, oh star fruit. Carambola. Carambola. Maracuya, passion fruit, mm -hmm. and mango. Uh -huh. It's very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the plant of passion fruit, no? Mm. This, this is the passion fruit plant. This one. You're okay being on camera? Mm -hmm. Are you okay being on camera? <laughs> this town. This is a small town here in That's Costa Rica. This is a small town. This yeah. is a very, very small town. The yeah, okay, the name is Bocas. As I sat down with him, he told me more about the small town of Boca San Carlos we were in, which only has 19 families. He even started to tell me a bit of his story on founding the lodge, which he started after being unhappy working in the food industry, living a non-stop go-go-go lifestyle. So now he's happy having his lodge where he can work on his farm, fish, and service people whenever they visit. It was so cool and inspiring chatting with him, and it sounded like starting this lodge is his dream. So if you come to Costa Rica, I definitely recommend stopping by places like these because it provides a very raw and unique experience that we sometimes don't think about doing when we travel to meet locals and experience different communities. So cool. can I take a picture with yeah, me? Of course. Cool, thank, thank you. you. I hope so you have a nice you. trip everywhere. <laughs> I appreciate it. Time to head back onto the boat. We are now back from our boat tour. That was a pretty cool excursion. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. And now I want to do a quick tour around the entire Treehouse Eco Lodge property because I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday, which I wanted to do. So as soon as you enter the property, you have a couple different signs. This sign will take us to a few different trails. Let's go ahead and check out some of these trails and the canoes that they have. So they also have canoes if you wanna go across the river. They currently have three canoes ready to go. And if you wanna sit down, you can do that here. And as you can see, there are so many lily pads here in the water. The canoe would be fun, but I honestly don't really trust myself to go on that at the moment. So down here will take you to a few trails. I actually went on some of this this morning during the bird watching tour. We have two options. Which way should we go? I'll go this way. So as you can probably tell, <laughs> hopefully, there is a lot of different places that you can explore here on the property. Many different trails, many different things to do and see. You don't have to be stuck in the treehouse for the full 24 hours because this treehouse lodge has a good amount of stuff to do. You can even hike up a little more and it'll take you to a mountain. I think I'm probably gonna head back to the reception area. All right guys, so that is going to be it for this video. Our 24 hours at this treehouse lodge is officially over. I hope you like seeing even just a taste of what it's like to live here. I've seen a lot of these 24 hour videos on YouTube and at first coming here last night, I thought 24 hours would be 
not enough time but after doing a bit of the activities here i think 24 hours is just enough time to challenge yourself to see and experience and learn about a new culture and place i also must say i have a much better understanding of pura vida especially being surrounded by all of this greenery and nature but i'm very excited to continue to experience it for the next three weeks so with that said if you did like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up it really helps the algorithm and stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this Costa Rica series. Much love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.